see that the is trying to reconnect the gang and I'm not sure why it goes through that um, we'll go slow and we'll start over again good evening this is dr. Eric live and tonight we're going to talk about three diseases that that are uh, very much very common for the elderly population Susan you, okay uh, let me know if if you we go out because we had a trouble getting onto the internet tonight Tonight we're going to talk about arthritis. We're going to talk about um, the other, we talk about Alzheimer's disease. We're going to talk about those diseases that create low grade chronic inflammation in seniors and how we can obviate and eliminate some of that. Okay, so this is what we, we really want to talk about tonight. Now, but first I want to talk and, and uh, about what Kit had said. Kit uh, told us that she had a stroke several years ago and that she thinks that the CBD is helping her and that was very helpful. She also gave us a hint that I need to um, to reiterate for everyone. The jellies are nano emulsified and so the nano emulsified jelly of 20 milligrams and 20 percent gives you four milligrams and that's what people have to understand that when they get um, their, their uh, tincture they're only getting 20 percent of that and that's why um, the nano emulsification will be the future, but in doing so we have to be aware that the bioavailability can increase the absorption much faster and put it into the system. So we have a, 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 a clause that we always look at with the cannabis uh, plant and that is start low and go slow. Okay, so the the aspect of uh, and you've heard me say that before uh, but the whole aspect is that with the nano emulsification, we can get much, much greater concentrations very quickly. So what the kit does is she cuts it into four pieces and she, she d doses it out during the day. So she doesn't get it all at once. Okay, so a, a 20 milligram gummy gets 80%, gets 16 milligrams. Okay, if you take your normal tincture in the morning of, of, uh, of 25 milligrams and only get 20% of it, okay, um, you only getting about five milligrams, okay? Um, because that's the way it works from a sublingual standpoint. The bioavailability increases up to 80% with nano emulsification. Not many people have it, but we want to live by, you know, start slow and go low. So if you can do the math, and do the math of 20 and 80%, 20% of what you are taking now and 80% when you have the gummies, take that gummy and maybe maybe section it up and not take it all at once so these are these are things that we must give considerations to um, because we are finding new and better ways of absorption and we can get a bigger bang for our buck by virtue of not losing all that bioavailability um, because of the lack of absorption okay so that's uh, that's something that I wanted to thank Kit for because she brought it to our attention and uh, we have another user um, and that helped to to bring that out as well and so it's my job to um, as we go through this we're going through this together and we're learning together so tonight I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, things like arthritis arthritis is a natural progressive situation uh, of chron low-grade chronic inflammation that we have and wear and tear and we know that vitamin CBD is very, very good for the uh, for that low-grade chronic inflammation and can help to reduce a lot of that arthritic pain that, that people have. And because it's that pain that stops people from doing and carrying out activities where they can gain weight and where they can um, do things that are con uh, counterproductive to their health and well-being. Let's talk about this aspect. This aspect of, of the chronic low-grade inflammation, we know that uh, when Kit gave us that information that she had a stroke several years ago and that she feels that she's been helped a great deal by taking her vitamin CBD. Vitamin CBD, we believe it's a daily, it's a daily supplement. House Bill 8179 is a bill in Congress right now in the House of Representatives. Let me say that bill again. Bill, House Bill 8179. Okay, please write your congressman and, and your congressional representative in Congress and ask them to please um, to please look at that bill very carefully because they want to make CBD a supplement and get it out of the grasp and out of the hands of the FDA. Good evening, Kit. I, I've been talking about you and uh, 
and, and thanking you for the uh, proportional components that you set up and the fact that you are willing to share with everyone that you had a stroke several years ago and you feel that, that the CBD is definitely helping. I gave that piece of, of clinical information uh, on a study done last month that came out last month that said that CBD okay, has a, can increase the blood supply to the hippocampus, which is part of our memory bank. And uh, when we can get that low-grade inflammation out of there, then Alzheimer's, can, may, we might have something really big for Alzheimer's. We might have something very big for strokes. I told you that I believe that in two years that we are going to look at this situation where we will be probably giving CBD for strokes as, as a means of increasing the blood supply to the brain and taking away that chronic low-grade inflammation. You have to understand that the body reacts to, uh, to foreign objects in foreign places. Blood is great when it's inside the vessel. When blood gets outside of the vessel, it goes through a big process called diapodesis and all the white cells and all the macrophages come to remove that blood. And when they come to remove that blood, they bring inflammation, um, you know, they bring inflammation with them. And when they bring inflammation with them, they bring swelling. And when they bring swelling, they bring a decrease in your cognitive ability because of the malfunctioning of your neural you know, transmitters. So this is a very complex situation, but it all makes sense. It's making more and more sense. When I went to medical school, we talked about acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. We never talked about low-grade chronic inflammation. Traumatic brain injury is probably low-grade chronic inflammation. Okay, so we, we know um, there are people that uh, have this have had um, low grade, they have had traumatic um, brain injuries, okay, that basically lose much of their memory um, because of that low grade chronic inflammation. So tonight we're looking at the, at the elderly, the seniors, and you know, we know that, that, uh, that cannabidiol, the CBD is great for seizures, okay. Not that um, when you get to a senior age, you usually don't have an onset of seizures, they're usually uh, early on in life but we have the ability to treat low-grade chronic inflammation. And, and this is where we believe that it's a dietary supplement that, uh, that works as an ancient medicine. And so please write your congressional person about House Bill 8179, because if we can get it out of the House, we can maybe push it over to the Senate and maybe we can get it passed. Because, you know, while we want the, everyone to be able to take it, uh, just like vitamin A, everybody needs to take it, and we don't need the FDA to have oversight on vitamin A, B, C, D, E, or vitamin C, B, D. So that's why we've named it as vitamin C, B, D, because we believe that it's a daily supplement that you need every day. You know, what I've done earlier in the show kit is I explained to them that you basically fractionate your gummy, your gummy into four different parts, and you take it at four different times of the day which might be the most interesting way uh, of taking it uh, because of the quick rapid uptake of the bioavailability, you might get, you know, a, a, a boost, uh, you know, during, during your day and you take it in your fourth one, maybe a bedtime and be able to relax, be able to have your the increase in the dopamine, um, increase in the serotonin receptors working in, with the CBDA that we are using because we are doing all this with cold press processing, so we have more CBDA. CBDA, I'll just just kind of uh, go off on that real real quick because the two path is one of our stars. And when we looked at the article, when we looked at the article uh, about um, where can cannabinoids would be in 2025, they start talking about um, CBDA right now, and you you all know that. I'm excited about to be uh, that I'm excited about CBDA, and I showed you a big jar of it that uh, I was in the lab all last week, and I'm going back in the lab next week, and I'm going to be taking that that previous jar that you saw down for testing because everything has to be third party testing. I've explained to you all that you have to make sure that you have organic material. And number one. Because of this plant is such a great sequestrator, it'll pull everything negative out of the soil as well as positive. So if you have any negatives, it's going to get concentrated, okay? And you don't want, you don't want those heavy metals or the insecticides or the herbicides or the pesticides, 
okay so organic is very important third-party testing is very important okay um, and that's because you, you can go to our website dailyvitamincbd.com okay and look at at our uh, look at the uh, third-party testing for each one of our products we don't put it up unless we we subs, uh, subs, have a substantive third-party testing so uh, hi, uh, uh, hi Laura um, so we're glad to, to have you tonight and we're looking at, at seniors and we're looking at some of the diseases um, there's a lot of research that is uh, going into this process now okay we have an aging population uh, I believe that uh, they should be on vitamin CBD every day and we have to make sure that we titrate it such that they get enough but not too much okay we don't know that uh, of the any ill effects but we the system has to adjust oftentimes to something that it hasn't had in a long time I have told you to look for the next edition of the AARP they're doing a five points a five part series on our the immune system 50 years old plus and everything is leaning itself back what I spent the day on today every minute that I had that I wasn't doing things and I was studying the fact that we make our preparation um, with hemp seed oil and of most recently grape seed oil and uh, this is a um, grape seed oil great stuff because it's a uh, a poly uh, polyunsaturated uh, fatty acid that basically has all kind of health benefits to it and so we are um, it also has a lot of vitamin E in it as well but um, reading it uh, I think that we're doing the right thing uh, at the right time uh, in the right way so uh, we're really excited about that um, and because we're also looking at the long chain fat uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids because it basically carries uh, what's a, it's attached to in a different way. It may it may get around the liver, okay, which is the normal um, the um, the um, process. Uh, the liver is a, is the uh, cleaning process and goes through the lymphatics. So we are working to see uh, if we can get some research, you know, in that in that direction. This is wide open, gang. This is brand new, but. Um, if you have a, a parent or a grandparent, we, we, we get them started on vitamin CBD, all right, because of the chronic low-grade inflammation and because this is proven that it's an um, anti-inflammatory as well as a neuroprotective and neuroproliferative component, and we need that. Okay, um, okay, and Kit, I'm glad your husband started with uh, Two Path almost two weeks ago, and how's he doing? Can you give me, give me a, a synopsis? Uh, does he feel like he's sleeping better? What's his mood situation? I had one family, um, the daughters called me and said, look, uh, Dr. Mitchell, please don't let my mother come off of two path because uh, she is the most congenial that she's been in years. <laughs> I said, okay, well, just keep ordering it for her and keep getting it to her. And uh, if you've seen that kind of, of, um, of physiological you know, change uh, for the better, then that's good because I believe that we're all in cannabinoid deprivation because we don't have it in our food and we don't get uh, our phytocannabinoids in our diet like we did a hundred years ago. So this is why I come on every night to tell you what my summations and what I've studied in the day. And today was looking at the long chain, okay, um, polyunsaturated fatty acids and that we use as, as a carrier okay for our vitamin CBD and so we're real pleased about that selection and uh, we had some information before but more information is, is piling up and in favor of, uh, of the long chain opposed to short chain um, um, polyunsaturated uh, polysaturated polyunsaturated um, amino acid fatty acids okay so I know that some of this um, gets gets confusing because we as physicians have a language uh, that's um, like no other, except maybe attorneys, and they, they just want to confuse you with the language. We want you to understand the language. So that was, a, that was I have, I have a, a sister and a brother that are both attorneys, so uh, they'll, they'll take issue with me later on, but that's okay. We, we usually see Thanksgiving. 
um, it gets very contentious, but it's it's all it's all good because we're all working for the good uh, of our of our clients and patients. So that's it for tonight. Okay, so um, start slow and go low. Uh, to start with, understand, calculate your um, your what you're taking. Uh, write it down. I want to know about your sleep situations. I want to know every bit of feedback that I can get from you my customers is critically important for me as I go through uh, new formulations and um, and things that I'm trying to get done for the health and well-being of the public at large. I took a Hippocratic Oath to do no harm and my objective now is to do all the good I can for as long as I can until I can't anymore. And don't forget our credo. Have you had your daily vitamin CBD today to support your immune system? Please and thank you very much and out.